Hi guys, this is Krivi again with another pen review and today we're going to have a look at another Twispy pen that I have been sent by Frank of Fontoplumo, fontoplumo.nl. Frank, thanks very much for sending me this pen for review. I greatly appreciate it. Frank has already sent me a Twisby 580 Diamond, the clear one, not AL, about two years back when Scrively was not yet doing video reviews, but I was still doing the written reviews. So the review of the 580 clear that I did back then was still a written review. I have never reviewed a Diamond 580 AL, but Twisby has a couple of months ago released the so-called Diamond 580 ALR here in nickel gray. And the difference between the AL and the ALR is that the AL uh, has like sort of smooth aluminium, aluminium finish and the ALR has those ridges right here and you also find those ridges here on the section. So um, I'm grateful to Frank for sending me this pen for review for two reasons. First of all, I'm able to have a look at a new finish for you guys. And second of all, I'm able to finally include a video review of the Twispy Diamond 580, which is the bigger brother of the Twispy Echo. Hey, let's have a look at a package just real quick. Cardboard package, twist the logo on here, open it up like this. All looks a little bit apple-ish, um, as with all Twispy pens. You get a little warning sign. You can disassemble the pen fully. Um, there are some parts here on which you should always have silicon grease applied to just ensure smooth operation. Silicon grease comes with the pen. You then get a manual here with some backstory to Twisby. Just gonna slide that through real quick here. You can pause the video and look at that if you like. And then you get some instructions like they are in, uh, what is that, probably uh, Taiwanese, I guess, of course, because it's a Taiwanese manufacturer and English translation on how to fill the pen. Great pictures, very visual here. How to dis and reassemble the pen, as said, the silicon grease application right here that I talked about before. How to reassemble the nib, you know, how to adjust it or like how to orient it when you put it in. And then a little bit of description and then a little pointer here that you gotta turn around the packaging to find a wrench for disassembling and the silicon grease. I'll show you that right here. And now you see what I meant when I said it looks a little bit Apple-ish, looks a little bit like an iPod packaging right here. Super nice diamond piston filling fountain pen. Of course, there's a piston filler, piston, piston unit sitting in here, transparent pen. You see the ink slushing around in there, super cool. I got it with an EF nib and also like the color dot here with like these lines indicates the ridges that I have been showing you before. You open that thing up, pen rests in here, and as said, down here you find the silicon grease and the wrench. All right, let's put all this stuff here aside and deep dive into the pen. So that pen here costs 75 euro, the nickel gray. Um, so it's like six euro more expensive than the regular um, Twisby Diamond 580 AL that costs like 69 euro. Then the all plastic clear one does cost you 60 euro. So there's a bit of a price difference here, but I still think that's like a really good value, really good price for that pen. As said, the pen really looks like the Diamond 580 or the Diamond 580 AL. It's like a cylindric pen with a smooth round cap and a faceted barrel and a piston turning knob right here at the end of it. As said, it's a demonstrator fountain pen, so you do see the ink slushing around here in the barrel. This um, is Caveco Smoky Gray that I have in here um, because I think it looked cool, a gray ink and the nickel gray finish. Um, but of course you can um, sort of change the appearance of the pen with changing the ink color to, I don't know, orange, blue, black, red, or whatever strikes your fancy. 
Twispy logo here on top of the cap, as said, as opposed to the regular AL finishes, the nickel gray, the ALR, has those ridges here, which I find is like a super cool industrial uh, look. Um, you see a spring in here that sort of like screws the finial um, into the cap. Clip is quite springy, very useful. You have a gray inner cap that fits the gray fittings of the pen. See the nib in here, which is kind of cool with the demonstrator pen. I like it often a little bit better if demonstrator pens do have clear inner caps, but since the pen here has gray fittings, I think it fits kind of neatly. Beautiful wide shouldered nib in here that looks as said kind of cool. You then have a center band here saying Twisby Diamond 580 ALR Taiwan barrel right here, ink in here, then the piston sitting in here. Of course, you operate the piston, and I can show you that right now because the pen is not fully filled with the piston turning knob right here, and then you see this plunger here moving, and that's of course then how you would sort of submerge the nib into ink and fill this pen. Screw on cap, let's see how many turns we will need to get the cap off. That's just about one turn, just a little bit more than one turn. I love this because this makes it a very quick note taker. As I always point out in any review, I hate it if I have to spin the cap like two plus times in order to get that cap off. Cap does not post, but there's also, yeah, I mean, it would post, but um, probably not very securely and makes the pen just like massively long and unwieldy. And hey, there's also completely no need for posting that because it's just, as you will see in the size comparison to Lamy Safari in a bit, a kinda large pen anyway. Right here, this nice section that has those ridges as well. And I find those really nice, really useful because they actually make for a very grip proof or like slip proof grip. So your fingers really don't slide anywhere right here and they're not sharp. So you don't really feel them like they don't cut into your fingers. So they're very comfortable. You have this beautiful as said wide shouldered nib here, an extra fine. This is like a Western extra fine. I wouldn't say that it's a Japanese extra fine. It's a Western extra fine, but a nice fine line. As you will see in the writing sample in a bit, the Twispy typo logo and graphical logo on there, some scroll work. It's a really beautiful nib. It's my favorite Twispy nib. I find it more beautiful than the one that they have on the VAC and also more beautiful than the one that they have on the Echo. And then you have like the feet down here. That's it with that pen. Really cool pen. Great price, 75 euro for a piston filler. Difficult to find otherwise. I mean, you will find some piston fillers for that price, um, but you really have to look around and there then maybe not the quality of a Twispy. As said, it's a quite large pen, like not an oversized pen, but like the Lamy Safari is not the smallest pen on earth. And the Twispy is pretty much exactly the same size when capped and when uncapped. The picture actually doesn't change very much. The same thing holds true for the section diameter. So I think it is pretty safe to say that if you're comfortable with the Lamy Safari and that's quite a great size for you, you'll probably be more than good to go with this Twispy here. Last but not least, a writing sample and we zoom in for that a little bit. Pen hasn't dried up in the course of the review, which is always a good sign. Also this inner cap here does a super good job in preventing the nib from drying up once it's capped. And here we go with the Twisby Diamond 580 AL. R, the R indicating this ridged finish right here. This is not a fine nib, but an extra fine nib and it does produce a 
really fine line right here. The nib is medium wet, but produces sufficient wetness for being such an extra fine nib. Um, there's not a lot line variation that you can get out of this nib. It's quite a nail, but it's a really comfortable nib. Very nice to ride with, no skipping, nothing. Feed cup keeps up very well. And as said, it's a really nice extra fine line. And with the ink capacity that you have in here, this extra fine riding instrument here will actually last you for quite a couple of pages to ride. That was that with the review of this Twisby Diamond 580 AL. R. What's left for me is thank Frank at fontoplumo.nl once more for making possible this review for you guys. I hope, of course, that the review was useful to you and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.